Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fala and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 4th of February and the 11th of February 2017. I'm here in Kansas City. You could see uh, Kansas just behind me. I'm finishing a very successful tour here in the United States. I've been to the Kepler Research Conference in Cape Canaveral, Florida, then seeing clients in New York City and then seeing clients and visiting family here in Kansas City. I had a wonderful lecture yesterday about the secret history of astrology and in two days I'll be back in Israel. Let's talk about the week ahead. We have Venus, the planet of love and relationships, going into Aries conjunct Mars. Everything that is connected with relationship, love and income could need immediate action in our life. It is a positive influence that can really take our life forward in these areas as long as we remember that we're much more impulsive and that we can forsake the long-term effects of our actions in order to satisfy ourselves here and now. As long as we remember that, as I said, this could be a very positive influence for us. The planet of wisdom and philosophy, Jupiter, is going to go into a retrograde movement until the first of, until the beginning of June in just about two days on February 6th. When a planet goes into retrograde movement, it is to provide us with a different perspective, a different outlook on things. So all our philosophies and everything we believe in is subject, is subject to change at these times. We could find out new information that changes the things we believe and the things that we uh, hold dear and see as true in our life. We should remember not to be too dogmatic and, and, uh, and remember that this is really an effect that should give us a wider perspective and scope and not make us biased to anything that we thought and believed before. Many breakthroughs and many discoveries can come up at this time. Furthermore, the planet of information and thoughts and navigation, Mercury, is going to go into Aquarius a day later, at, at uh, February 7th. Intent, uh, giving, giving even more intensity to the fact that we could think outside the box. All our cerebral, uh, all, all our cerebral energy is, is moving much faster, is heightened, and the navigation through life could be heightened as well and much in a much faster pace. This is a positive influence. It can provide genius ideas. We can think outside the box. There could be medical discoveries and technological discoveries in the coming weeks. We just have to take it at a pace that is sustainable and not exhausting so we don't go into passivity and too much emotionality when Mercury moves into Pisces at the end of this month. The really important thing is that we have a lunar eclipse between February 10th and 11th on the 22nd degree of Leo. Eclipses are times of great change and this eclipse is really a good time to give birth to our creativity, to take everything that was brewed within us in the last previous week, in the, in the, the last couple of weeks and give birth to it within our own life. Leo talks about our artistic endeavors, about our identity, about the things we believe in, about love that presents itself by action, affirmative action in, in this world. So this is truly a good time to give birth to your creativity and your own identity in your personal lives. So I want to thank you for listening and of course I'll be here next week. This is Boaz Feiler, goodbye.